Hello and welcome to this presentation about the Diploma in Criminology. My name is Miss Shaw and I'm just going to take you through a little bit about what the course has got to offer. So what is criminology? Essentially criminology is the science of crime and criminals. It's not just that though, it's not just about looking at criminal behaviour. Um, it's basically an analysis of how crime affects society in general as well as the victims of crime. Um, you will consider various different theories and ideas about how crime might occur and why people break the law. So some of these theories could be biological, genetic, psychological, individual and sociological. Um, there are aspects of criminology where we also look at how we should best control and prevent criminal behaviour and examine the way the law works as well as the role of the criminal justice system in Britain. OK, so what will I study on this course? Over the two years, you will study four units. This is actually an applied course, which means that you will have already gained 50% of the course after year 12, and that will give you the certificate in criminology. If you then choose to continue the course for the second year, which the majority of students do, then you will gain the full diploma. Um, so criminology is 50% examination and 50% controlled assessment. So in year 12, we start with the controlled assessment on changing awareness of crime. You will sit this controlled assessment usually um, in the winter term, just before Christmas, and that is marked internally. Um, the main focus of the changing awareness of crime unit is to understand how campaigns can help raise awareness or change a law relating to crime. So students will learn about a variety of crimes that are underreported. You will have a look at statistics on public awareness about these crimes, and then you'll be asked to design your own campaign. You will need to think very carefully about the aims, the objectives, your target audience, and how you're gonna justify um, your campaign materials. Moving on, you will then study criminological theories. This is a one and a half hour exam taken in the summer term of year 12. And the focus of this is very much about why people break the law and why people commit crime. So you will have a look at the difference between crime and deviance and you will learn about norms, values, moral codes and different sanctions against crime and deviance. You will then move on to looking at sociological, biological, individual, psychological and genetic explanations for criminal behaviour. Moving on to year 13, the first unit three is another coursework slash controlled assessment. So again, crime scene to courtroom will be sat in the December term and internally marked. This focuses on every single aspect of a crime, right from the initial crime scene all the way through to prosecution and even appeal. So students will look at some of the techniques used by the police and have a look at the criminal justice process throughout the various stages. You'll learn about rules of evidence, the roles of juries and magistrates, and there will also be a focus on the validity of information, including whether court cases, evidence, verdicts and sentences are in fact just. Finally, you will study Unit 4, which is a crime and punishment examination, one and a half hours again, taken in the summer term of Year 13. This unit will develop your skills in order to evaluate the effectiveness of the process of social control in order to deliver policy. Essentially, what that means is you're going to look at the effectiveness of the criminal justice system, such as the police, the prisons, the probation service, and you are going to look at the strengths and limitations of these agencies. You're going to also be investigating to what extent social control in Britain can be achieved. So just to give you a flavour of what you might um, be studying in class, the crime scene to courtroom unit is what you would study in year 13. And um, as you can see from the slide, this examines the role of the crime scene all the way through to the courtroom, the investigation to understand all of the roles that the different people play in the criminal justice system. So in this unit, you will start with the initial crime scene and you will look at the investigation by the police and other personnel involved in criminal investigations. You'll examine some of the techniques used by the police and forensic scientists. You'll also then learn about the rules of evidence and the roles of juries, magistrates and judges. You will then move on to have a look at how information used in court is valid and how judges and juries reach a verdict. Finally, you'll also start to have a look at, um, at the appeals process. 
So just following on from the other slide, um, you will be asked to investigate criminal cases and also look at miscarriages of justice. I've given you a few examples here of very famous cases where the verdict was not always seen as fair and a lot of these people appealed and had their verdict changed. So you may recognise the Jeremy Bamber case from an ITV drama series that was on TV last year. But there are also huge cases like the Hillsborough disaster, as well as the case of Barry George, Amanda Knox, Sally Clark and Angela Canning, who you will need to become familiar with and consider how and why the law may not always deliver justice. So what should you expect from a um, criminology course? Many people won't have studied this subject before, but it does link in with other subjects such as sociology and psychology. So you should expect similar things from those A-levels. For example, technical language. It's key that you understand the technical terms and the concepts that are involved. You're also going to be given lots of theories, which you would have to be able to use in your essays. We are going to discuss controversial issues such as domestic violence and capital punishment, and it'd be great if you could talk about these sensitively and also have an opinion on them. Um, the controlled assessment element of criminology means that you do have to be an independent learner and be prepared to do your own research to collate your own notes. We will be looking at criminal cases and investigating them, but also analysing and designing our own campaigns in order to change the law. You will also need to understand the different roles of the criminal justice system um, and, as previously stated, consider whether justice is always served. Anybody who enjoys debates has a, an opinion and wants to share it um, and can develop excellent evaluation skills will hopefully enjoy um, the lessons and the course. OK, so a few questions to consider before making a decision to choose criminology. If you have ever considered what makes a person criminal or whether you can tell a serial killer just from what they look like, then these are the kind of things we would be debating on the course. We're also going to have a look at the law and whether we think it's fair and equal for everybody. Do judges and juries always get it right, i.e. does democracy actually work all of the time? How should we punish offenders? Are we doing a good job at punishing offenders in the UK or not? If in general you've got an interest in how the law works, you've got an inquiring mind and you enjoy watching documentaries about criminal investigation or forensics, if you've got a general interest and keep up to date with current affairs, um, if you have ever thought about the media and how that influences our beliefs about crime and criminals and you enjoy debating these topics, then hopefully the criminology course would be something you would enjoy. So a question that people often ask is, um, what can criminology do in terms of my longer term career plans? How will it help me? Where does it fit in? The subject covers a huge range of topics and styles of learning and it complements a lot of other A-levels such as psychology, law and history. Many students actually choose criminology at university, so it is becoming popular within higher education. Um, it lends itself well to a lot of careers within the public sector, such as are obviously working for the courts and in, for the Ministry of Justice, but also for the civil service in general. Many people go into social work, youth work, the police, community support work or even welfare and policy development. So if any of these kinds of careers are things that you've been considering, then criminology will hopefully help you with those longer term goals. So that concludes the presentation for criminology. If you would like to find out more, have a look on the website by clicking on the link. And there are also hyperlinks attached to each of the course textbooks. Feel free to drop me an email anytime or alternatively book a Zoom conversation. Hopefully I'll see some of you in September 2021.